Hello everyone, it's Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV. It's the day after the game. West Ham got their first victory yesterday in eight games with a 1-0 home win at the London Stadium against Swansea. Um, goal just before half-time from the big man, Czech Kuyate. Um, it was uh, it was nail-biting at the end. You know, the last few games that we've played haven't been great. And I remember the West Brom game conceding late, so it was edge-of-the-seat stuff. But we held on, we got the victory. Um, which not guarantees Premier League safety, but it's a massive step towards us standing in the Premier League. So, look, I'm going to go through the players' ratings. Um, so let's start off, as always, Darren Randolph in goal. Um, he didn't really have much to do yesterday. Uh, there a couple of balls, especially towards the end of the game, he sort of flapped at a bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think he put, I remember him pulling off uh, a couple of good saves. Um, so it was comfortable, like I said, didn't have much to do But I think that was down to the four that he had in front of him Which I'm going to get on to next uh, But I'm going to give Darren Randolph uh, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 for yesterday Now let's move on to the back four Which all of them yesterday for me was superb But this man I'm going to start off with Sam Byram yesterday The best performance I've seen him play In a West Ham shirt since he's been at the club He was unbelievable yesterday Up and down the wing Important challenges, you know, just everything about his game yesterday. You, you could see, um, especially Ginger Pele next to him, shouting in his ear all the time, telling him when to get up. And like I said, he pulled off a crucial tackle uh, right at the end um, to stop Swansea getting an equaliser. And he was just unbelievable yesterday. And, you know, the boy's got a big future. He's getting a run in the team now. Someone said that they see him leaving the stadium yesterday on crutches let's just hope that's precautionary and it's nothing serious but look I'm going to give Sam Byram uh, and remember these are my ratings uh, some of them might not agree I'm going to give Sam Byram a 9 out of 10 for yesterday because um, I thought he was that good and let's move on now centre back pairing let's start off with Jose Font first clean sheet since he's been at the club well done Font <laughs> no look last few weeks he hasn't been great but yesterday I thought he had a much better game uh, he was winning a lot more headers. He's, he's just his positioning was uh, a lot better yesterday. I thought they dealt well with the strikers. Um, so yeah, look, I'm going to give Jose Font. I'm going to give him a seven out of ten for yesterday's performance. Now let's move on to his centre back partner, Ginger Pele, James Collins. Unbelievable yesterday. Unbelievable. Uh, winning near enough every single one of his headers, tackles, blocks. It was just like. It was it was the old James Collins, you know. It's his passion yesterday, even at the final whistle, you see, he was on his knees punching the floor. It meant so much to him. And then he come over to where just where me and Nicky sit, just he come over, give his shirt to someone in the crowd, and he was just beating his chest like that. You know, he he loved it. You know, and it's that's what you want from your players. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give James Collins an eight out of ten for yesterday's performance. Now let's move on to left back Masawaku once again. Thought he played brilliant. Had a great game. I tell you what, Creswell's going to struggle to get back in in front of him. Um, up and down the wing all day, um, looking for the one-twos. He, he just had another great game and I can't fault him. So I'm also going to give Masawaku an 8 out of 10 for yesterday. Now let's move on to midfield. Let's start off in the centre with the big man, Czech Kuyate. Great yesterday. Great from start from start to the end. I thought he was great, um, winning tackles. You know, powerful running forward with a ball. As you know, scored the winner. Great goal from Czech as well. I mean, that's his first goal. First goal in thirty Premier League games or thirty games. But that's one thing he lacks. But we got to remember he he was playing right back um, for a little while, centre back. So I've always said this with Czech. He's one of the best. In the Premier League, when he's running forward with the ball, he's big, strong. He's actually quite quick for a big man as well. And if he can add that to his game, more goals, it'd be an all, you know all round, it'd be unbelievable. But I'm going to give Czech, um, I'm going to give him an eight out of ten for yesterday. Now let's move on to Mark Noble, uh, who made his 400th appearance for West Ham yesterday. He joins an elite club uh, with some legends like Billy Bonds and Bobby Moria. I mean, he's up there. Now with some of the greats in that list. I mean, he's got a long way to catch these two for appearances, especially Bonzi. But look, 
whatever you want, you like him or hate him. Yesterday, I thought he had a great performance, comfortable alongside checking midfield. Once again, got stuck in. He did give the ball away a few times, but the only downside yesterday, he got his 10th yellow card of the season, and now he misses the Sunderland Everton game, which is a shame. But we have got players to come in, someone like Fernandez maybe, to step in and take his place. But look, based on yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Mark Noble a 7 out of 10. Uh, let's move on now to Antonio. Uh, I thought he was playing really well. Really, really well. He looked like he was taking on people, you know, running down the wing, uh, running into the box. Uh, same again, strong tackles, but unfortunately he pulled up just before half time with looks like a hamstring injury, which could keep him out for the rest of the season. So, you know, fingers crossed, it ain't that long because um, he's obviously a massive player for us. But, I mean, he wasn't on the pitch long, but he did play 40 minutes, so I'm going to rate him, obviously. So I'm going to give Antonio a 6. 6 out of 10 for the time he was on the pitch yesterday. But, listen, I hope it's a speedy recovery, Antonio, because we need you, mate. Uh, now let's move on to Robert Snodgrass. Um, wasn't... He wasn't as bad as he's been in the last few weeks, but it was a better performance from him. Uh, a couple of times I thought he could have crossed uh, when he should have and he didn't. And times he crossed when he shouldn't have because there's no one in there and it went went over. No one there. He was making runs. Uh, he was looking for the ball a lot more. He fell over about te 10 times in the first 20 minutes. So I don't know what was wrong with his boots. But um, I mean, he obviously played a part in the goal as well. Played the 1-2 with Czech. So I'm going to give Snodgrass, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Uh, now let's move on, Manuel Lanzini, another great performance from Lanzini, once again, you know, confidence is growing every single game, if we just can get another player like him on that pitch, then, because I think sometimes he does all the hard work and there's no one up there with him, no one's, a couple of times the players don't look on the same wave, wavelength as him, um, but look, Lanzini yesterday, I mean, that bit, even that bit right at the end when he took on turned on two or three players and then crossed it for Caleri at the back post and you know it was just another typical Lanzini performance you know I love watching him play he's getting better and better every week so I'm gonna I'm gonna give Manuel Lanzini I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten for yesterday um now up to for me it looked like he was up top him and Antonio looked like they were swapping but Andre Ayu against his former club uh, I thought we had a really really good game yesterday a uh, couple of chances one in the first half Great save by the uh, keeper. And same again in the second half. Um, if he'd have hit either side of the keeper, you know, it probably would have gone in. But you know, I thought he played well. You know, you, you want to turn up against your old clubs, especially uh, to show them what they're missing. And I thought he played really well. You know, he he was looking looking for the one-twos. Um, and like I said, you know, he was unlucky that he didn't score yesterday. So I'm going to give Andre Ayu, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 uh, for yesterday's performance. Let's move on now to the subs. Jonathan Caleri come on for Antonio. Um, didn't really do much in the first half. Didn't have a lot of time. But second half, I thought his hold-up play was good. You know, especially for... He's not a big lump. But no, I thought he his hold-up play was great. You know, he could have scored right at the end, like I said, when Lanzini sent him up. But, you know, he doesn't get enough game time. So a lot of people were slating him yesterday. I, I didn't think he was as bad as some people were saying. So I'm going to give Caleri a 7 out of 10. Uh, Faguli come on in the 71st minute for Robert Snodgrass. Straight away got into the game, straight into the box with a run, cross, no one there. Uh, carried on really for the last 20 um, odd minutes. I thought he played well. Um, like I said, he was uh, making them runs. Uh, a couple of times he gave the ball away, but you can understand he's coming on in a high tense game. He's got to get into it straight away. So I'm also going to give um, Faguli a 7 out of 10. Last one, Fernandez come on for IU in the 86th minute. <sighs> Typical Fernandez, you know, come on, sat in the middle, looked comfortable. Like I said, Noble being out next week and for the Everton game, it might be time for Fernandez to get a start in there with Czech. So I think we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of Fernandez over the next few weeks. So I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Um, now let's move on. Uh, Slavin Bilic, thought we got the team spot on with what he could choose from really uh, his tactics were right yesterday uh, substitutions I mean one was false with Antonio but I thought the other two were right Snodgrass was looking tired when he brought for on 
He had Sacco and Carroll on the bench. There was one point when Fernandez come on and I thought that's his last substitution. If Swansea equalised now, it could sound like a decision like that could cost him his job. But his passion yesterday, it was like the old Billich. He was on the touchline up and down all day. And you see at the final whistle what it meant to him. He was down, you know, he was so happy. And, and I, listen, people know I'm a big Billich fan and I want him to stay. Um, but look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate Billich just on yesterday. I'm going to give him an 8. 8 out of 10, just for everything, just for the Billich passion being back. So, my man in the match yesterday uh, was Sam Byram. Like I said, you know, great performance. But there could have been two or three. Ginge was close. Masawaku was close for man in the match. But I just think Sam Byram, for me, yesterday deserved it. But look, they're my ratings, as always. Put in your comments below. Give me your ratings. Give me your thoughts on what I've said. If you agree with the ratings, if you don't. Um, and like always... Watch yesterday's fan cams. We've got some great fan cams, as always. Uh, and obviously, the main show, post-match point, which was good. It was an happy one. We started going on a bit off track again. I think we're just so used to now talking about the ball and the problems. But, look, we was all happy with a win, obviously, just like everyone after the game. And I just also want to say thank you to every single person that come up to us yesterday, especially myself, and come over and said they love the work we do. You know, we're putting in we're putting in a lot of work this week. We had uh, Hull away, Arsenal away during the week. You now, we didn't get home from Arsenal until like gone half 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. It's a London derby, like, so, you know, we've been putting and in, obviously, Swansea yesterday. So, look, just keep with us. Don't forget to subscribe. We've smashed the 18,000 um, subscribers now. We're closing in on 19,000. We've also passed the 5 million views mark, which is massive for us. I know... You compare it to some channels and it's nothing. But for us, 5 million views is a lot. I remember when we got our first 100 views and me and Nicky were buzzing. <laughs> it's just mental. But look, I'll leave that there. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV. They're my ratings. Now give me yours. Come on, you 